In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful opportunity that you have given us. It is not by chance, but by choice we are here. As I speak, Holy Spirit, take complete authority of my mind and my vocal cords. Let every word that I speak be of yours, and nothing of mine, Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Okay. So yesterday we were learning about how to get revelations, yes. how to get the secrets, right? Yes. So a revel I did not exactly get the definition, but what from what I found out, revelation is a a deep mystery which was hidden and it's now revealed to us by the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Praise God. Okay. So, I'll just ask Jennifer, praise God. Jennifer? Hello? Yes, Jennifer. Yes. So, you, um, you heard yesterday's uh, recordings? No. Oh, no problem, no problem. Okay, praise God. Candice? Hello, Candice? Praise God. Okay. So we were learning on how to get revelations and we were studying in Mark chapter 10 about sower and the seed. Correct? Mark chapter 4. So Ashley, can you put that scripture again? Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes. I was actually speaking, but I didn't know that I was new. Praise God. So can you please put the uh, this one? The Bible scripture on Mark 4. One minute. Yeah. Mark chapter 4. Okay. Uh, go a little down. Okay, praise God. Stop. So, uh, can you go a little up? Just a little. Two, nine. Yeah. Ten onwards. Jennifer, can you please read this from ten? When he was alone, the twelve and the others around him asked him about the parables. He told them, the secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you. But to those on the outside, everything is said in parables. Should I continue? Yes, yes, please. So that they may be ever seeing but never perceiving and ever hearing but never understanding. Otherwise, they might turn and be forgiven. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, so like when Jesus used to say parables, the disciples used to not, like they did not. And when he was preaching, there was a huge crowd. Many people were there. But only 12 people, when Jesus was alone, came back and asked him what Jesus was trying to teach, what Jesus was trying to convey. And to those 12, Jesus said, the secret of the kingdom of God has been given to you. But to those on the outside, everything is said in parables so that they may be ever seeing but never perceiving and ever hearing but never understanding. Otherwise, they might turn and be forgiven. Praise God. Okay. So what Jesus is trying to say is that, you know, um, before and all, I'll ask this question to Jennifer. Jennifer, can you please unmute? Yes. Yeah. So before this Zoom study, this Bible study on Zoom sessions, how is your relationship with God? Like, 
you can give me honest answers please god my relationship god was not that much after coming to the bible session it has become stronger and stronger praise god praise god praise god it has become stronger and stronger because it is you are starting to know jesus More by coming to this zoom session <laughs> you are getting the knowledge exactly yes. you are getting to know more and more so yes. it's like when you have a friend right a close yes. friend you are interested to know more and more of that person so yes. you want to spend more time with that person the same yes. thing we are getting to know this person named jesus through this zoom sessions and when we spend time after the zoom session on what notes we are studying every day we just go quietly and sit and think on those points every day jesus will give us more points you know and then you will come and tell me that you know uh, priya this is what i i spent time with the lord and this is what he told me when i was sitting quietly praise god thank you jesus so sometimes uncle rupert also gives some nice points like when he he tells he keeps mentioning that while driving he uh, you know experiences some scriptures and what he gets the understanding of the holy spirit revealing to him praise god yes uncle rupert thank you jesus so that is how revelation knowledge comes it is not that okay only i because i am taking the class or you know i am anointed only this person is very powerful we think like that okay the preacher is powerful only that person can get such knowledge no that power has been given to each and every person sitting in this zoom session and you can get the direct revelations when you sit with the master who is the master in today's world holy spirit is the master yes holy spirit is the master and when the holy spirit gives you the revelation you know it it is a very beautiful relationship with god you want to know more and more you don't want anything else praise god thank you jesus okay so jesus is saying um can you put that scripture praise god ashti yeah sorry uh, no problem can you see yes yes okay so here he is saying but to those on the outside everything is said in parables so that he may they may be seeing but never perceiving ever hearing but never understanding otherwise they might turn and be forgiven can you put this in amplified ashley thank you jesus praise god okay no problem praise god so what do you mean by seeing but not never perceiving hearing but never understanding now uh, can you repeat what you were explaining i was having some net issues no problem no problem i'll repeat i'm repeating the same thing so so that they may be ever seeing but never perceiving means what has it ever happened now an example you are studying a lesson okay the lesson was taught to you but when you read it the first time it didn't go in your head has anyone experienced that yes yes right seeing you may not understand and then the teacher explains to you in the class gives you the understanding of that and that time it becomes clear correct mhm mm correct so that use that example here now jesus is revealing these truths to everyone but are we here to you know pay attention to what he's trying to say only when we pay attention only when we make a decision to spend time with the word that, that is the time you get the understanding and revelation praise god 
thank you jesus okay now in this scripture jesus is saying that these people they see but they cannot perceive they may hear but they are not understanding because if they tried to understand what jesus was trying to say they would realize how wrong they were and they would repent they would realize their mistakes okay is god now in today's world now whenever this you know when a bible study is being preached or anything it's very difficult for people to pay attention all of us in the past also including me you want to know why there is a scripture for that praise god uh, actually can you put 2 corinthians 4 verse 4 or if because we are blinded yes yes exactly praise god 2 corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 let yamima read praise god <laughs> four verse four actually it's four okay four verse four yeah yamima can you please read what oh, is highlighted yeah the god of this this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays on the glory of christ who is image of god praise god so here this verse is saying the even god of this world the devil who's the god of this world the devil he has blinded the minds of the unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of christ who is the image of god the reason why many believers face persecutions why you know when uh, um, when we try to preach share the gospel or what god has done to our lives it is not received so easily is because those people who are not believing it's not because they are bad it is because the devil has blinded their minds by all his lies you know what is the meaning of deception can anyone tell me deception lies yeah praise god deception is something that looks like the truth a lie which is presented as a truth deception is a lie which is presented as a truth praise god now how the devil deceived like how he deceived adam and eve in the garden of eden in the same way today by all his pretty lies the devil is deceiving each one of us where did you, till where did you follow ashley um well, about the the definition of deception can you repeat that i put it in chat it is a oh okay yes, sorry yes ashley um sister teresa has put it on the chat praise god okay thank you sorry thank you jesus that. okay so praise god so deception is the lie it's a weapon of the enemy now he'll put you know his deceptions are in many areas the most common example you know these days when it comes to god and things like that what excuses comes to our mind oh i'm so tired i'm so busy has it happened like sometimes you know when work comes up and then you remember time for zoom session even i experience these thoughts sometimes i'll be honest with you all you know some days uh, you know i get thoughts like this today okay no like today one day let me you know not take it but immediately i am able to identify that this is not from god because god has tiredness is not from god laziness is not from god 
these are all the lies the devil is putting in my mind why because he wants this zoom session to close down he doesn't want the word of god to be preached because we learnt in the sower and the seed in the first soil what happened what was the first soil does anyone remember rocky soil like the pathway no. pathway soil pathway, pathway soil. soil yeah what what was the problem in the pathway soil they heard oh. the word of god but they did not understand the word of god yeah and because they didn't understand what happened they will uh, sorry the satan immediately steals the word of god yeah the satan immediately is coming so right now in this zoom session when i'm this session is going on devil is coming to steal kill and destroy in different ways by not giving understanding so same thing if he puts lies and keeps me busy in something then i won't be able to take a zoom session right so this is just an example of how the devil's deception and lies work in different areas one is he keeps you very busy that is the yes god thank you jesus he keeps you very busy with all the lies one is the busyness of this world the cares the worries the distractions the worldly pleasures bakalta yes god um, uh, there's some disturbance can you please no praise god thank you jesus okay so we were learning about the thorny soil okay the thorny soil what were the three things candles hello candles praise god yes, thank you priya can you tell me what were the three things in the thorny soil that we learned just one minute i'm just looking at my notes praise god praise thank god. you jesus okay till she looks in i will tell the three things one is the cares and worries of this world the busyness of work and the deceitfulness of riches very good and the last one the desires yeah some the worldly desires worldly desires now i'll give an example like uh, you know which used to happen to me often okay when i think i'll listen to a song to some songs i i like to listen to music okay so i think i'll listen for 5 minutes but it never ends in 5 minutes it goes beyond 1 hour okay now how that's how the devil deceives you he says only little bit just spend a little time and you before you realize your whole day goes in that even when you know people who fall into temptations and addictions it never starts you know all of a sudden it starts little by little little by little so that's how the devil has blinded each one of us eyes in different ways can i say all something this while. yes yes you can say you know, praise god yeah this example was very good the holy spirit just reminded me one point uh you know the devil would just you know show us something like you know like for example like you know oh you can now smoke on cigarette it's it's okay you can uh, smoke no problem nothing will happen okay then uh, we would do that okay and then after that again we would do that then again it would get it would start it would start uh, getting we would start getting addicted to it and that's how at the end we would suffer satan would like show us that we can do this and that and all but he won't show us what will happen in the end he won't show us what are the consequences yeah correct He'll show us that we, we can do this and that and all of that but he won't show us what will happen in the end yes exactly so he'll not show us the things and that is why we get deceived by the lies of the devil and you know we end up spending times in the other things so it is on e- it depends on each one of us that where we have to make our decision who is the priority of our life is it the world or the word that choice god cannot make for you because if you are saying that god please make this choice for me god has told that in his word in deuteronomy 38 that is i have given you the choice between life and death choose life and if god tries to take 
you know a choice on your behalf he is going against his own word because whatever god speaks once he will never go against his own word praise god so you have to learn to train your mind to you know come out of that distractions all all of us you know tend to fall even though i'm taking zoom sessions for y'all there are areas where i fall every day there are areas where and sometimes even i struggle and that is the time i ask the lord lord how do i come out of this and then he gave me the scripture in galatians 5:16 ashley can you put that um galatians 5:16 Uh, amplified version one minute and please god praise god thank you jesus it's the amplified version can you put the amplified version praise god one minute i'll just yes. praise god okay so what till she puts the scripture i'll tell you what it means this scripture says that walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh so all of you all agree that sometimes we we all get tempted every day by some or the other thing be it a television program or be it something yes. or the other yes yeah praise god so god is giving a solution for that what is he telling um praise god okay no problem so walk so i say walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh for the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh they are in conflict with each other so that you are not to do whatever you want okay so we are a spirit we have a soul and we live in a body am i right yes yes so our spirit is as holy as god because god created us in his image and likeness but our soul and our body they are unrenewed okay and that is where the enemy strikes us that comprises of our flesh so what the scripture says the flesh desires what is contrary contrary means opposite to the spirit now what god's desire is that is what your spirit wants you want to do good things but sometimes you can't help doing bad has has anyone experienced that like some weakness in some areas of your life yes 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 why because your flesh and your spirit are in opposite directions and when they are in opposite directions do you think is there going to you know they are never going to meet right so if you are going to be pleasing your friends or people of this world you can never do what god wants you to do like if you say i'm going to come and play i'm going to attend a zoom session but i'm also after this going to go and you know uh, do spend time and watching a television about how covid is spreading or something like that this is just an example or some of the other thing you can never you know be able to discover god's purpose in your life so that decision is based on you so i wanted the amplified version but no problem i'll tell you what that just said no this is niv uh, i put amplified like here okay no problem so that scripture says walk continually in the spirit that means now if you want to change there is some weakness in some area of your life and you want to change that area you cannot do it on your own strength right so the scripture does it say you shall not fulfill the desires of the flesh and then walk in the spirit or does it say walk in the spirit first and then you shall not fulfill the desires of the flesh first you walk in the spirit 
yeah walking in the spirit means having a relationship with god by studying his word the more you start studying the word of god without you realizing da- daily you are making a decision to spend that 20 minutes with god without you re- realizing your desires will start becoming godly there is another scripture right delight in the lord and he will give you the desires of your heart yes mm-hmm. yes because much. when praise god so when i had uh, first learned that scripture no i thought you know um, what i understood was um, you should when you go to god he will give you what you want yeah yes, i think many of us think that way right yeah even me even me but then i started understanding through my mm. personal experience and like i when i came to god i was very addicted to social in uh, this thing and lot of movies social networking and movies okay and without mm. me realizing as i started spending more and more time in the word the desire to spend time over there started decreasing and you know without me trying putting any effort so i have seen what the word of god has done in my life so mm. if like you know if you all are worried about some area in your life for some weakness something that you have been wanting to change but you know nothing is working you need not fear this scripture says walk in the spirit that means just take one teaching and keep listening to it keep focusing on that and your relationship with god automatically without you realizing that desires will leave you and go you don't have to leave the desire that habit has to leave you and go praise god thank you jesus thank you jesus okay so we came here because of that scripture that how the devil keeps us busy in different things and that is why we don't get time for the word of god so that is the first battle where we have to overcome those distractions that and the lies of the devil so that we can spend more time with the word of god get to know more and more about jesus and the plan that jesus has in our life isn't it praise god okay praise god and i does anyone want to share something only one point I yes just yes sister yes sister oh yeah actually always it will not look like it is something bad you know the, the devil is so smart he'll bring it in such a subtle way yeah. feel, this is not this is not like it won't yeah. do any harm it looks harmless like you know so but in a worldly way yeah, but this like, pleasure that pleasures will take us away from the word that yes, whatever pleasure yes. will captivate us it's so like, not all things will not be like bad but eventually they'll be bad <laughs> yes yes yeah, i totally yeah. agree i Correct. totally agree with you yeah because i have yeah. i have experienced this like sometimes i yeah. i i know this is not bad so i would go into it but i found that you you just give little time no then you don't know where that time goes after that because then you are going deeper and deeper into that yes, particular yes. pleasure yes yes huh? you are not doing any harm to anyone you yes. you think so you don't you don't feel guilty as such but then when yeah. you realize that you have lost this much of time and that you could have spent with god with word you feel very guilty like that condemnation that like comes you know Yeah. yeah yeah and the it's devil like those condemnation is put by the devil devil He's only the one yeah putting all that he, see see he you you never change and then he shows us <laughs> it's like you know uh devil like you know like for example success like he shows us in a worldly way kind of success like good kind of success but in a mm. worldly way like full of luxury and all of that like you got so many of oh, that all those possessions and all you got like so many worldly kind of things and a big house and all of that like full of luxury money and all of that is god thank you jesus all right so we will now com- um you know continue with this session in the next class praise god praise god so praise god candice can you do the closing prayer for today sure prayer 
Thank you, Jesus, for this lovely day. Thank you, Jesus, for this lovely teaching. And thank you, Jesus, for everything. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you, and Priya. Thank you, Priya. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful teaching. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise God. Bye. Thank you all. Bye.